Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 350. It's an easy level problem, but you can see the accuracy is on a very low side, right? Roughly 30, 33%. Uh, and that is because of the edge cases that you have in this problem, right? Uh, let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the problem name is total distance traveled. The problem says that a truck has two full two fuel tanks. Okay, you are given two integers main tank representing the fuel present in the main tank in liters and additional tank representing the fuel present in the additional tank in liters. Okay, the truck has a mileage of 10 km per per liter. Uh, whenever five liters of fuel get used up in the main tank if the additional tank has at least one liter of fuel one liter of fuel will be transferred from the additional tank to the main tank okay return the maximum distance which can be traveled note injection from the additional tank is not continuous it happens suddenly and immediately for every five liters consume okay let's see what it is saying so you have two tanks a main tank and an additional tank right and in one kilometer your truck can travel 10 kilometers okay so that is something we'll use at the last thing right it's all about how many liters of fuel are we using so it says that whenever five liters of fuel get used up in the main tank and if there is some you know fuel in the additional tank one liter is transferred from the this additional tank to the main tank okay for example let's take this one in the main tank you have five liters in the additional tank you have 10 liters okay now what you do as soon as as soon as you consume all these five liters right because the minimum amount that you have to consume is five then only you know one liter will be transferred so you consume five liters okay and as soon as you consume in this tank you you have five minus five that is zero fuel left and since it is zero uh, immediately one liter is transferred so total you are left with one liter in the main tank okay so initially let me right click you have five and ten after five you know after you consume five liters you have one here and nine here okay now just see you cannot since you have only one liter of fuel in the main tank you cannot consume five liters right minimum you have to consume five liters then only some amount of you know fuel will be transferred so that means initially you consume five liters this one and this additional one liter so total six liters were consumed and in one liter total you can travel is 10 kilometers so 60 is the you know maximum distance that can be traveled okay let's come to this one in the main tank you have one unit of fuel in the additional tank you have two units okay now again for fuel to be transferred from here to here at least five liters have to be consumed but you do not have it right so that means the only distance only fuel that you can consume is one and hence the distance is 10 right one into 10 because in one liter you can travel 10 kilometers right that's what the problem is asking us to do also uh, the main tank and the additional tank the values can be at max 100 right so the constraints are small because it's an easy problem now there are there could be multiple ways to solve it okay but the tricky cases here are that you have to directly you cannot you know divide it by five okay and keep on transferring the values here right you have to check that at any particular point of time do you have at least five liters to be consumed and then only you can transfer the fuel and also while you are transferring you have to check that do we have any fuels left okay and there could be conditions like this that here you have fuels less than five fuel less than five and here do you you have some non-zero value but still the maximum you know fuel that you can consume is this less than five only okay let's see let's see what how we can solve it so uh I would say what I have done is I have written exactly what the problem is asking me to do, right? And then uh, obviously uh, covering all the edge cases uh, is part of that only, right? For example, this is my main tank. This is the additional tank, right? Answer is equals to zero while main tank is greater than zero. Now let's see what I'm doing. The question says that when your main tank has greater than equals to five. So if my main tank has greater than equals to five, that means I can consume all the fuel, right? So answer plus equals to five. This answer basically represents how much fuel am I consuming? Answer plus equals to five. Now I can subtract five liters from the main tank because I have consumed five liters, right? I know this can take extra steps because you can directly do empty by five. But again, there you'll have some extra edge cases, right? Now, since I've consumed five liters, if I have any amount of fuel in the additional tank, I can transfer one liter from it, right? So if additional tank has greater than equals to zero, you know, the value is greater than zero, subtract one and add one to the main tank. Simple. This is what I have to do, right? As So when it is greater than equals to five, 
add 5 into the answer meaning you have consumed these 5 liters now your your main tank will have uh, will uh, the value in the main tank will get reduced by 5 and if additional tank has greater than 0 at minus minus because 1 liter will be transferred from this tank to this tank okay else if this is not the case if this is not the case that means you are left with less than 5 liters of fuel in the main tank that means irrespective of the value of the additional tank you you cannot transfer the fuel now right so what do you do else answer plus equals to empty okay that means whatever is the value in the main tank that is the extra fuel that you can consume simple now this empty equals to zero uh, you can skip it why i did that is because i wrote another version of this solution but yeah that i've removed now so this is how you do that okay and finally answer tells you how much fuel you have consumed for each uh, liter of fuel you can travel 10 distance okay 10 unit of distance so that is why answer into 10 is your solution right so what do you do in these type of problems is generally since the constraints are small right the first motive that you should have is write a working solution though it may be uh, you know uh, not the most optimized solution but again the first thing is you need to write the solution that works here the constraints are low so this will work right so yeah that's what you have to do in the you know level one or level two problems okay had the constraints be supposed 10 is per 5 then yes we would have taken into consideration that instead of subtracting empty you know five every time from empty what i'll do i'll probably do empty divided by empty equals to or some value let's call it current equals to empty by five this tells me how many times will i have the eligibility to transfer some fuel from 80 to empty right now i'll see whether this value is greater than uh, 80 or not that means additional tank or not i'll transfer the minimum of these two values into the main tank now again within the while loop there is a chance that maybe i have got 10 liters of fuel now in the main tank right I transferred, I, I performed this operation 10 times. I have 10 liters. Again, you will do the same stuff, right? So that will be sort of logarithmic because every time what you are doing, you are dividing a particular main tank with five. So log of empty base five. That would be your time complexity in that case. But here again, I have written a brute force solution so that it works, right? So yeah, however, if you want to optimize it, you can use this approach as well, right? But in the level one problems, uh, you know, again, you do not need to do too much fancy things a brute force works in these cases right so yeah that's it for this solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel also in case you have any queries related to this solution or related to this problem statement let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care Bye bye